When working in high performance, we are regularly monitoring our players' workloads and completing athlete-centered musculoskeletal reviews. The players also complete a daily wellness diary. Here we check in on well-being and readiness to compete. One thing that is commonly overlooked is the equipment they use. In particular, the player's tennis racket. Its mass, swing weight, stiffness, grip size, and even the string type and tension being used. We're told that 80% of players are using the wrong racket, a concerning statistic given using the wrong racket can result in suboptimal performance or even contribute to an injury. For this reason, the Tennis Lab is a key pillar in the National Academy High Performance Program. So we at the Tennis Lab believe there's two key reasons why so few players have the right racket for their game. Firstly, there's a lot of variables to consider. For instance, for adults, there's over 1 million different combinations of racket string, string type, racket specifications that they need to consider. Secondly, players spend very little time actually selecting their equipment and instead base their decisions on the cosmetic, the price or the popularity of a racket. This is even true for performance players who despite spending on average 675 hours practicing per year, but only one hour selecting the right equipment for their game. Lyndon, appreciating every injury is individual, are you able to share with us some general recommendations for players who have arm and shoulder injuries? Essentially, you want to be able to decrease the loading on the body. So that can be achieved in two ways. So the first way is to decrease swing weight, and the second way is to decrease mass. So essentially, you want a racket that's easier to swing. That's the simplest way we can try and decrease risk for injury. And look, I get asked this all the time, vibration dampeners, should I have one, should I not have one? So those players who have arm pain, is that something you would recommend? Essentially, a vibration dampener does nothing to the racket itself. So all it's doing, it's actually only changing the sound that the player hears. So it's changing the vibrations on the string, but has no effect on dampening the vibrations or force back to the player's arm. So from an injury perspective, it's unlikely it's gonna have any effect. And look, last question, strings. So would softer strings be better for a player who's got some arm injuries? Again, case by case basis, but typically speaking, yes, a softer string is going to have a more elastic property, okay? So a more elastic string essentially will absorb or put more force back into the ball rather than absorbing it into the frame itself. So reducing the risk or loading on the body. Thanks so much for your time and your insights today, Lyndon. So for those players or uh, coaches that are watching this, want to learn more information about today, where can they go to find out some more? No problem. So they can visit www.tennislab.com.au or equally um, follow us on Instagram at tennislab underscore TA.